Hey y'all, so I'm excited to do a cookie video real quick. I know it's been a minute, but here I am. This is what I got so far. Hold on. I I am sauteing my red pepper. I just had a red pepper and some onions chopped up in some butter. And now I'm about to add some beef bouillon, better than bouillon, to that. And then I'm going to rinse off my smoked turkey wings and then add some special butter beans and butter peas. So I decided to do this. I haven't done this in a minute. My allergies are killing me. Okay, that's the old one. Let's finish using this one because I got a little bit in this one. I got some hot water in a cup. And no, I don't measure. If, it ain't, if I'm not baking, I don't measure. I be trying to get all this stuff is expensive. I be trying to get all my money's worth out of here. I did buy a new one, so okay, that's gone. That's empty. I use chicken more than I use beef, so oh, I'm weak. I have a, my sinuses are bothering me, allergies, and I've been suffering. Can't get this open. Oh God. Jesus. That took every spider in my phone. Big dollop. So yeah. I've been suffering bad at work, y'all. With this problem. I'm going to pressure cook this because this is the last minute. I'm going to cook rice, cornbread, and some some um, some of the wings I have, baked some of the wings that I have that I got them marinating in some Asian sesame or um, marinade from Ken. I'll show it to you in a minute. Hold on. I just dump and go, don't it? All right, let me get off my smoked turkey wings. I'm not going to use all of them. And I'm only just going to use the wing, not the, the drumstick part. So I'm just going to, this thing is huge. So we're going to put that in there. Okay, we'll put this out. And then we're going to add the beans and peas. You know I'm not put my rice in the um uh, y'all can see I put my rice in the um Instapot, but since we're using the pressure cooker, I should have got my sister pressure cooker so she her, she got an Instapot too. She bought me this one years ago. But since cause she don't use hers. I like to mix my beans and peas together. I wonder if I got some okra. If I do, I got to see. I'm about to add a little bit more water. And, okay, so I used this. This was on sale. Because it got the ginger and soy in it. It was on sale, but I want to get one last week. So I grabbed two and my I just opened it. And then I let my I gave my sister one so she can try. But this is the one I really like, but more pricier. If you can't see that, I like this one too. To make you can marinate your meat in it as well. So so yeah, that's what I use on the chicken. Give me a minute. So now I'm about to get my rice started. I should have cut the stove up for the um, cornbread. Cornbread don't take that long. I only have but one box. I've been trying not to double the boxes up because I end up having more cornbread than I need. So. That should be good. 
good enough rice. It's these little one pound bags. I can't remember why they gave me so many. Maybe I had ordered a big bag for Walmart and they didn't have it, so they substituted with smaller bags. That's what I'm thinking. And you know how my little handy dandy um, thing, colander, or what you want to call it. I love to say when it comes to rinsing your white rice, it's hot in here. And if you don't know, I rinse my rice about four or five times, about four or five times. Talk so, about four or five times. this in and get my meat in I'm gonna go ahead on and make me a coffee I've been hooked on those Starbucks um the ha ice hazelnut oat milk shaking what is it shaking no shaking ice what is shaking oat hazelnut oat milk espresso or some junk like that I'm hooked on them I am, I'm not gonna lie. I swear I get one just like every morning, which I gotta stop. So I was like, I can't get lunch, I can't get that and get lunch. So I rather cook lunch because I tend to, if I buy food from a restaurant, I don't eat it all. Cause I get full too quick. So I end up, and it don't taste good once you warm it up. Depends on what I'm getting. So I rather cook and take my food to work and then just get me a, a coffee in the morning after I drop this boy out. By the way, he's doing good. He, um, we're getting him started with all the necessary therapy. He will start music therapy this week. Also, occupational therapy is starting. It's gonna start soon. Lang speech and language therapy and ABA therapy. Um, I wanna put some of So we get it together. Be right back. All right, here's my here's my chicken marinade, and I'm putting in my little small oven. I just put aluminum foil in the bottom pan, so it'll be an e easier cleanup. And I'm gonna put it on this rack, this wire rack. Be right back. All right, so this is how my chicken is looking. That's not hot. I just put that in, but I did preheat it. So that's how it's looking. We try not to burn them. So let's turn the temp down. I thought I put a 375 and we just gonna cook it and see how it go. I gotta keep an eye on it. So now I'm about to do the cornbread real quick and then I'm gonna make my all right here's my that's my lunch. My stomach hurt, my head hurt, vertigo kicking in a little bit. So guess what? I'm not gonna eat. But this is how it's looking. Those are the beans. Hold on. All right, I'm really not hungry, but I decided to fix up a little bit of the rice and pea, beans and peas mixture. My son got all the chicken. <laughs> right, they were small pieces anyway. Let me see. And you can see I can barely breathe out my mouth, my nose. And honestly, I can't really taste nothing. Oh, that's how bad this sinus stuff still got me. And I'm afraid I'm had to go to the urgent care. I'm gonna get a little piece of cornbread. I'm, I'm afraid I'm had to go to the urgent care. Cause I'm, I'm thinking, hold on. But yeah, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to go to urgent care. Cause I'm really thinking I have sinus infection. Um, it's to the point where it, all this is congested and if I blow my nose, the vertigo hit, it comes on. You know, the vertigo has something to do with your inner eardrum or something like that. And it's like, it clogs up my ear. When I blow my nose, my ears clogs up. And everything starts spinning, spinning, spinning. Like I said, I, don't, I think I said that earlier that when I was on my way to take drop my baby off at daycare at the center, it, I did blew my nose and it came and hit a little bit. I wheeled it off. Pray to God that it won't come on. And then when I was at work, it was trying to come on. If you don't suffer from vertigo, if you never had an episode of vertigo before, it have your stomach hurting. It have you feeling like you gotta throw up. 
your head, everything around you is spinning. It's spinning. You can't control it. It's spinning. It's spinning. Last time I had this was in May, right after I first started the job. And I had to go to Earth to the ER. They gave me Benadryl. I take Benadryl every night because that's pretty much what well, I got the Publix bread. I got the store bread. Being cheap. Wanted more for my money. But um that normally what helps will like keep the bit the vertigo off. But it's just so bad that I'm congested all up in here. I can't taste nothing, smell nothing. Like it's that bad. And I hate when it gets that bad. But and I don't want to miss work because I already gotta miss a day next what well, the end of the month. So I might just I don't know, I might drop him off and go to urgent care in the morning, then go on to work. But we'll see. You know, they was my core was like, why did you come in? I'm like, uh, because I got a job. <laughs> And, you know, I want to show that I'm responsible, I'm able to, dependable, I'm able to come to work and stuff, regardless of what the situation is. Because my supervisor, not once have she said, and she know I'm feeling, I'm not feeling the best, but not once have she said, LaShonda, you can leave early or this and that. Not once. If in that, she coming in there with most stuff for me to do. So, you know, I'm just trying to be a team player and get it done. But other than that... Where you at? Me. 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 <laughs> That's my baby, y'all. That's my handsome, handsome baby, my little prince. He loves his mama. Regardless of what it is, he loves his mama. He gonna ride with his mama. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you for supporting me. Um, even through my hiatus, hiatus. But um <laughs> I got to take care of myself in a little bit. <laughs> but thank you all. Please share, like, subscribe, comment. You know the routine. <laughs> thank you all so much. I, I wish I could get this extra fat off my arms. It is what it is. We one step at a time. Let's lose more weight. All right, y'all. Deuces.